on Verblink. And today we'll be uh, playing some intermediate speaking games for intermediate students. OK. So um, let's see. We have Carolina. Carolina, are you there? Okay, I'm not sure if she can hear me. Uh, Wen Ting? Yes, I'm here. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm doing very well, thanks. Uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from China. From China. Okay, great to have you here. All right. Uh, and then we have uh, Thiago. Yes. Hi, uh, how are you? I'm doing well, and you? Doing very well, thanks. Uh, where are you from, Thiago? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. Okay, awesome. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, and let's see, Carolina, can you hear me? Oh, still no. Okay. So for all of you, I'm Kate. Uh, I'm an English teacher, of course. I'm from the United States. And um, again, today's class is really about speaking practice, and um, we'll be playing some games to hopefully um, get you to start speaking in um, a fun and open context. OK? Um, so let's see. I've already met Wenting and Thiago. Uh, we also have Edson. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Uh, Edson, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. From Mexico. OK, cool. And Francisco? Can you hear me, Francisco? Yeah, now I yeah. can hear you. Okay, good. How's it going? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was having some troubles here with. That's okay. How are you, Francisco? I'm pretty good, thank you. Good. And where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Okay, great to meet you. Uh, hi, Ming. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. And where are you from? I'm from China. From China. OK, cool. Wen Ting is also from China. So we have two people from China. Uh, let's see, one person from Brazil, one person from Colombia, and one person from Mexico so far. And Carolina? Hi. OK, I still feel like she can't hear me. That's OK. Um, Abdul Aziz? Yes. Uh, Hi. Hello. Can I call you uh, Abdul? Yes, okay, that's okay. <laughs> uh, where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia. Very cool. Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, so um, I'll repeat this again. So uh, today's class is really about speaking. And um, I've designed some games to practice our speaking, uh, hopefully in a fun and comfortable way. OK, and so, um, so we can, you know, now that you know a little bit about each other, at least your names and where you're from, I want to start with um, a sort of introductory game that's called Two Truths and a Lie. OK, has anyone heard of this before? Or do you know what we'll be doing? No. No. I OK. You know? I just imagine what it is. OK, what do you think it is? Uh, say two, two truths about myself, one lie, and another person have to like try to figure out what is the truth, what's the lie. Exactly, Thiago. OK, so good. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what Thiago said. So I'm going to ask each of you to think of three sentences about yourself. Two of them should be true, and one of them should be a lie. OK? But you have to make the lie sound convincing. Because uh, when it's your turn, you will say your sentences. And then um, I and your classmates will uh, ask you some questions to see if we can uh, 
to see how your story holds up, right? We'll, we're going to try to figure out which one is the lie, okay? And then we'll guess and try to figure out the lie from each person. All right. Uh, so any questions about that? Everything clear. Everything clear. Perfect. So uh, everyone, I want you to think of three sentences. Two true, uh, one should be a lie. Okay? Take a few minutes. Okay, take another minute and then we'll start to share them. Okay, is anyone ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so Francisco, why don't you start? Can you read your sentences? So, what do I have to do? Write the sentences on the chat book? Uh, you can, or you can just read them, whatever you like. Ah, okay, okay, I will read them. Okay. Uh, the first sentence is, I have two kids. Uh, the second sentence is, uh, I have lived in three cities in my country. In and two? That, what? Did you say in two cities? Three. Three cities, okay. Yeah, and the last one is I studied architecture in a public university. Okay. All right, so I just wrote them down as well. Okay, so we have, here we have Francisco's three sentences. Okay. So um, let's ask him some questions and see if we can figure out where he's lying. So for instance, Francisco, what are your kids' names? What? What What are the names of your children? Um, Javier and Mateo. Mm -hmm, okay. And how old are they? Two and, and five. Two and five. Okay. All right, class, what questions do you have for Francisco about his statement? Are you married? <laughs> yes. How long? Uh, ten years ago. Okay. Okay, other questions? Do, do, do your kids like to go to school? Do my kids what? Like like to go to school? Uh, well, uh, the one of them, yes. Okay. I have more one question. Uh, uh, what's the your favorite architectural subject? Like like your favorite lecture or class? Um, I like designing, but I mean, when you, when you say subject, you mean like like what? Uh, I don't know. Like uh, I mean more like the class you have in the 
the university. Like you have, for example, math class or chemistry class. I think in architecture you have like a structural class, something like mm -hmm. this. Or... Okay, no, the classes that I liked more when I was studying was, were um, uh, drawing and the designing class. Um, I think th those ones. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. What do you tend to do after you graduate? I I I, I am already graduated. Oh, okay, see. Ah, yeah. So you are working uh, as a uh in or or not? Uh, uh, can you repeat the question? Uh, Are you working as an architect? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, since I finished my career, I started working in sales and I stayed in that line. But I work in the construction market, so I, I have been working always with companies related with the construction market. I mean, selling some products for the construction market. Okay, so it's related. Yeah. And and uh, what three cities did you live in? What? What well, cities did you live in? Uh, I have lived in Puerto Boyacá, Medellín, and Bogotá. <laughs> Which one did you enjoy the most, and why? Uh, Bogotá, I think it's the city I live now, and. Uh, it's a city with many opportunities. Um, it's the capital of the country, of course, and, <laughs> and it's the city that has uh, given me, I mean, all my sustent or I don't know, my job, mm -hmm. all, all the things. Your resources. I, mm -hmm. or, yeah, all the resources. <laughs> okay. What? What was so let's see did Wenting was that you? Uh what's the age of your kid? Two and five. Okay. And Diago, you had another question? Which city you was born in? I was born in Puerto Boyacá. Oh, uh, cool. Where did uh, you go ahead, Wenting? Uh, where did you study architecture? I mean, the city. What age? What which city do you study architecture? So where I, did you study? Uh, yes. In, in Medellin. That's why I lived in Medellin. Okay. Can you um, describe a little bit about your two kids in terms of personality, what they like and dislike? Good. Uh, okay, the major, it's, uh, I don't know the how older. to say that. The older. Yeah, the, the, the older, I'm sorry, yeah, the older is, um, uh, I don't know how to say, travieso. Is uh, like uh, daring. He's daring. Uh, daring? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, he likes to uh, run too much. Here inside the apartment, or when when we go to the park, um, and the other one, it's uh, more calm and relaxed, and of course he's very uh, young still. Mm -hmm. So, um, but but he seems is going is gonna be more uh, calm or like relaxed than the other one. I'll be calmer, okay? Yeah. All right, so a lot of good questions. Uh, which, which one, class, which one do you think is the lie? Let's take a guess now. I think number two is a lie. Number two, okay, you yeah. think he has, okay, the cities? Yeah. Other thoughts? Tiago, you asked a lot of questions. What do you think? Tiago? Uh, 
Okay, I'm not sure you can hear me. All right, the rest of the class. Hi, teacher. Ah, sorry. Okay, I was saying you asked a lot of questions. What do you think? Oh, about what's the lie? Mm -hmm. uh, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think that about the three cities. The cities? Okay, so yeah. they agree. Does anyone think it's a different one? Yes, I think he went to a private school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific. One thing, what about you? I also have a doubt about the university. Okay, well then I'm going to say it's the kids, just to be different. All right, Francisco, which one is it? Okay. Uh, the lie was the number one. Number I one? I don't have kids. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any kids. <laughs> okay. You don't have kids. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking that. You know, you describe them a little bit. Yeah, I was specific. trying to imagine <laughs> some kids I have seen in the movies. Or I don't know. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, but very, very good. Okay, a lot of good questions. And I think Francisco told very convincing. He told a convincing lie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, good. So, who would like to go next? Me. Okay. So, uh, Edson, go ahead. Okay. Um, first, I like to play football on weekends. I love spicy food. I'm doing economics at the university. Okay, let's ask him some questions. What's your favorite type of pepper? My favorite type of pepper is habanero, which is the more spicy. The spiciest. The spiciest. What did you football mean? American football or soccer? Could you please repeat that? Uh, you like to play football. I mean, it's American football or soccer. Oh no, I like to play soccer. Okay. Um, which position do you prefer when the, you play soccer? Actually, I don't know how to call it, but I'm I'm always I'm the guy the who's best. passing the the football to score. I'm in the, the middle. middle. Yeah, I'm in the middle, but so I don't know how to call that mid position. Midfielder. 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 Well, yeah, that's mid. Oh. That's my position. Okay, so you have oh, to run uh, a lot. But uh, actually, it's not like that's my unique position because, well, sometimes we are not eleven in each team, mm -hmm. so you need to play whatever you can. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what semester or year are you doing in the university? I'm in fifth semester. So third year? Yeah, and yes it is. No, it's my, well, I'm beginning my third year. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And what do you want to do after you graduate? Well, maybe I would like to first work a little bit for the government, and then, like anyone else, you know, start a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of business? Well, I love agri agriculture, so maybe you are going to see me in a farm or something like that in ten years. Why do you think economic is useful, and what's your favorite? concept in economics. <laughs> well, I think economics is it's everything. Economics is history, it's philosophy, it's sociology, and it's important because well, now it's more important than than before because because now we live in a in a global world. So you need to to deal with the, with more more kind of pro more problems. Each mm -hmm. society has its own problems, so you need to know everyone's problems because their problems will affect, will affect you in some point. So that's challenging, and that's why I pick economics. economics. Okay, 
but uh, which concept in economic you think that everyone should know, even non-economic people? So something from economic theory. Yeah. Okay. That we should know. Well, I will say that everyone needs another one to live uh, a good life, and I mean not only for goods. Uh, economic, it's not all about money. It's about relationships and stuff like that. Like now we are speaking with people of other countries and we are helping each other. We are exchanging knowledge and stuff. So the concept will be exchange what you are best or exchange the things that you are best on and receive uh, goods from other people that do that thing well. Um, I think what, what you described uh, has an economic term. Do you know what that term is? What? That what understand. you just described, the exchange, what you're good at, and then receive what they're good at. There is a specific economic term for that. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's a specific working. I can remember, actually. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, okay, but that good, is. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the lie. Actually, you he's, can. He's not doing all. economics. <laughs> you think yeah. that's the lie? I don't know. That seems convincing to me. Okay, one thing. What do you think? Or right, go ahead. Ask your question. Uh, what's the difference uh, from macro uh, economics and uh, micro economics and macro economics? Economics. For Edson's on a job interview here. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I didn't get that question. What's the difference between micro and macro? Or uh -huh. what? Yeah, micro yeah, well, and macroeconomics. Well, the difference is uh, the main difference is the time. But also, macroeconomics is small to deal with policies that apply in 5, 10, 20 years. And microeconomics is things to, it's to deal with things um, like in a company expenses and changes that happen in within a year or something that's the main difference okay it may be a truth yeah <laughs> right, I, yeah I think he knows what he's talking about with economics yeah now I changed my mind <laughs> I, I have a question uh, have you tried uh, Mexican food yeah I'm from Mexico so I love oh. Mexican food <laughs> Yeah, oh. and it's spicy. Oh, yeah, well, it's what's the difference between... What is your favorite uh, soccer player? What's my favorite soccer player? Well, actually, I don't have a favorite. I just enjoy the teamwork. I like the teams like Real Madrid, and, but my favorite team is from Germany. What about so, Mexico? Well, the football here in Mexico is not as good as the European okay. football. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot of difference. Here. Yeah, okay. Mexican football is like more about, it's like to flip a coin. You don't know who it's going to win. Mm -hmm. that. OK. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. All right, class, I don't okay. know. OK, go ahead, Tiago. Last question from Tiago. Uh, where you usually play soccer on the weekends? Well, there's a park near here, like two blocks from here. So there's where I met with my with my friends every Saturday and Sunday. Okay, but you don't become tired to play on Sunday after play it on Saturday. What do I do after I play? No, that's no, me. it's like. Don't you get tired playing both days? Yeah, of course you get tired, but when it's something that you enjoy and it's not just about playing, if you get tired, you just stop and someone else go for you. So it's just about, it's, it's well, you enjoy the football, but you also enjoy your friends, so it's, it's just like an excuse to, to hang out with your friends. Okay. All right, Edson is another good liar. I'm not sure which one to think. Class, what do you think? Which one is the lie? I don't think he plays football on the weekends. You think it's football? Okay. Mm. Other ideas? Does everyone think it's football? Yeah, I also think that uh, football is the lie. Okay. Football. Football? Thiago? 
Uh, I think that has some lie about football. You think it's football? All right, Edson, which one is it? I just found that I'm a bad liar because <laughs> of football. <laughs> yeah, I don't football. like football at all. The at thing all. is, we were so focused on economics that you know we only asked you those football questions at the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I okay, can't well. name a favorite football player. So <laughs> I just, I just, yeah. Yeah, I need to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, very good, though. Good questions again. All right, who can go next? Me. All right, one thing. Go ahead. Um, the first sentence, I studied biology in university. And the second, I learned mouse and the spider. And the third, I have Wait, killed a rabbit. Hmm? Excuse me? What was the second one? I love mouse and a spider. Oh, okay. And the third, I have killed a rabbit to do experiments. Okay. You've killed rats to do experiments. Uh, I mean rabbits. Oh, rabbits. You've killed rabbits to do experiments, you said. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm typing. All right. <laughs> so are those correct? Okay, so she studied biology, she loves mice and spiders, and she's killed rabbits to do experiments. How do you feel when you kill a uh, rabbit? Um, it's a little hard to do it because the rabbit is, I think it's strong, so it's very hard to, uh, in, I mean, inject uh, some chemicals into its blood through the vein in its uh, in the rabbit's ears. So, what's it, the goal what's, of these experiments? Uh, it's physical experiments to look at how the rat uh, the heart beats. Okay. What do you do when you see a mice? Uh, if it's the mice uh, in the wild, I will just look at it. That's all, because it's just too dirty. But uh, if it's a clean mouse, I mean, maybe in the lab, um, just I think they are cute. I may just feed feed on them. Uh, what's the uh? Biological names for mice and spider. Not the common name, but the. I don't know the spiders, but the mouse is a uh, mus musculus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ming, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Where are the parts of a cell? <laughs> huh? What are the parts Pardon? of a cell? Pardon? Repeat it. Go ahead. Uh, what are the parts of a cell? Cellula? Cell? It's a cell. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, the parts of a cell. Oh, a part of a cell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The membrane, uh, the nuclear, nucleus, uh, and uh, the plasma. Uh, there are many organ. Uh, the cell organisms in the plasma, like a ribosome, uh, like um, like e. Sorry, I do not know how to say it in English. That's okay. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> Just okay. okay. I have a question. Don't you think that is contradictory to study biology? Which is the science of life and kill a rabbit? Mm, I don't know, but actually the rabbits are used to treat. And the rabbit is not uh, just a lab. I mean, the, that's a course that the, the teacher of the course bought the rabbits from the farmer. And you buy a, an alive rabbit and then you kill them, or you buy a dead? No, it's a course. Uh, the teacher of the course by the rabbit. 
Okay, so she did this in a class, and the teacher bought the rabbits. Then you don't kill them. But they are dead. Wait, so when, okay, the so question is... They are alive before the experiment, but they are dead after it. Okay, so the experiment is what kills the rabbits, essentially. No, it's not oh. about how to kill them, but to do experiments to right. see how the heart beats, something like that. Okay, but they die during the experiment? No, but to kill them after experiments. Okay, all right. Because, you know, they are just... That uh, their chests are just cut. Uh, okay. You can see their heart, something like that. Okay. All right. Other questions for her. What do uh, you like about um, spiders? <laughs> yeah, same okay. question. Uh, excuse me, I haven't heard that. What do you like about spiders? Uh, I haven't uh, feed on a spider bird. If I saw a spider in in my room, I just to free them, free them on the in the wind, in the in the wild. Okay, so you're saying you don't kill spiders, you just let them free? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why, if you like it so much, why would you let it free, not keep it as pet or something? Mm, because I do not have enough time, and also I do not think I can do it really well. Okay. All right, I think we should guess. It's number guess? two. You think it's yeah. number two? Number two is the lie. Yeah? Okay, that's yeah. what I was thinking also. Anyone have a different idea? I will say that is number three. Number three. Yeah. All right, one thing. Which one is it? Number three. It's number three. Uh, okay. I haven't cured the rabbits, but we really used them uh, to do experiments. And, and you really love spiders? Uh, we really use rabbits to do experiments, but I haven't cured them. Okay, but my question was, and so that means that you really do love spiders. I think so. I well, I think I will feed on spiders in the future. Okay. All right. You're braver than I am. Okay. So uh, <laughs> finally, Wenting, Wenting, uh, she successfully lied to us. Well, not to Ensign, but to the rest of us. Okay. Who do we have? Let's see. Uh, Ming, and let's see. Tiago, have you gone? Uh, not yet. No, okay, so uh, we have Ming and Thiago, one of you guys can go. I can go, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead, Ming. Uh, they are very simple questions. Okay. I like, um, I like to watch romantic comedy. I like to drink Pepsi. And I, my favorite American singer is Bruno Mars. Okay. All right, let's ask him some questions. Well, what's uh, the next romantic movie you see? You so. Was the last one? Yeah. Um. Uh, me and Marley. Marley and me. Uh, Marley and me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you usually watch like uh, Bruno Mars shows? No, he's a singer. Doesn't have shows. But like the concerts? No. Concert, yeah, I concert. Just listen yeah. to music. I don't, yeah. I'm not into concerts. Oh, okay. Cool. What's your favorite song by Bruno Mars? Uh, uh, there's a lot of them. Run away, baby. I've never heard that one. No, you can go. No, it. is it good? <laughs> can you sing it? No, no, I can't. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Other question. Do you like a cola? I prefer Pepsi more. 
Cola is not bad, but when I have Pepsi, I, I'll take Pepsi every time. What brand of the Pepsi? Oh, there's a there's only one Pepsi. One brand of Pepsi. Oh. What is the last album or, or song from Bruno Mars? Wait, what? Wait, I'm still talking. Um, the last single of Bruno Mars. Ah, uh, he had a new one that was out a couple of days ago. Forgot what it was. You forgot what it was. <laughs> How, how how can you forget? The, I mean, the your last singer is your favorite singer. <laughs> well, I haven't paid attention to him for a while. He he, I used to listen to him a lot, but now not so much. I don't follow him that much. Mm, okay. Oh, but <laughs> maybe you, it's not you, your favorite. <laughs> but you you I like, still like pop. Him. But huh? you like pop music in general, or just or only Bruno Mars? Uh. I would say Bruno Mars is one of my favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But have another pop music bands or singers that you like also? Yeah, of course there are other bands that I like also. It would be weird you, if I only like Bruno Mars and no one else. Oh uh, yeah, but can you tell us uh, another singer or band? American band? Yeah, mm -hmm. pop. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, um, One Republic. Mm -hmm. Let's see your name of you. Okay. What is the main reason that you prefer Pepsi over Coke? I think for some reason Pepsi is more relaxing than Coke, but it's, it's just for me. What do you mean with relaxing? It's just the colors of the can, the blue. I like the color blue better than red. It's so it has nothing to do with the flavor. It's all about marketing. <laughs> well, I think the the blue cans make me feel more relaxed for some reason. So I guess that's part of it too. All right. Yeah. Have my response. What's your favorite movie? Uh, what the romantic? Um, no, just in general. What's your favorite movie ever? Probably uh, Transformers. Okay. No, 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 actually, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right. Any last questions for him? Okay, so let's guess. Which one do you think it is? Okay, okay. can you tell me the, the name of the actress uh, in, the, in the movie Mar uh, Me and Marley? Marley and Me? Marley and Me. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Marley. Aniston. Okay. And the, the guy? I mean, Owen Wilson. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, so class, which one do you think is the lie? The second one, I the think. The second one? Yeah. I think the same, the second one. All right. The first one. The first one, Thiago? I think that is about Pepsi. Okay, and I'm going to say I think it's Bruno Mars. All right, Ming, which one is it? Is Bruno Mars. It's Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have a that's feeling so it doesn't seem like you're. Pepsi. Yeah. That's so. You, you really feel more relaxed by Pepsi because of the yeah. color. Just by the color. Yeah. Good marketing on their part. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, good. So Thiago, you're up. So my my three sentences are. I, I'm a computer science master's degree student. Is the first one. Uh, the second one, I have been in another country above Brazil. And the 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 another sentence is, I'm married right now. Okay. 
All right, let's ask him some questions. Where do you met your your wife? Sorry? Where did you meet your meet your wife? Uh, when I I was in the the college in the undergraduate course and he, she studied there. Uh, what programming language do you use? Uh, actually, I use a lot. Uh, mainly, I use C++. Where have Where? you traveled? Uh, United States. Which city? Uh, Palo Alto. And what did you do there? Uh, internship. An internship? Yeah. In computer science? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, what do you like the most about your wife? My wife? Uh, oh, she has a lot of uh, pretty good uh, aspects. And I think that she's pretty reasonable. Uh, how can I say? Like, she always understand me, or, or 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 even try to understand me. So she's understanding, you can say. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's her name? <laughs> Claudia. Hmm? Claudia. Claudia. Okay. Can you describe your first date with your wife? I mean, yeah. Good my question. first date. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my first date. Uh, it was in. Uh, how can I say? Uh, the, you mean the first date that was uh, just uh, me? Just and, two of you. The, just two. Yeah. You and. Oh, okay. So the first date was in a restaurant uh, that I invited her, and before we had started to make conversations or telephone and. After that, I invited her for a date, and it was cool. I was a little uh, shy uh, in the beginning, but uh, I, I, I talked some icebreakers, and after that, the conversation uh, uh, had a good, how can I say, flow, and mm -hmm. uh, the things. And after that, we we, uh, we have another date, and uh, with the time we. Decide to you know, got to engage, engage it, engage it, and mm -hmm. after, yeah, and after got married. And uh, I, I got married actually a few time ago. Okay. How long did you go to the U.S.? Uh, how long I I I, I stayed there? Uh, three months and a half. And did you travel anywhere else in the United States? Uh, oh yeah, I, I stay at uh, Palo Alto in California State, and mm -hmm. I, I I went also to San Francisco and uh, San Jose and Las Vegas. Did you go to LA? No, no, LA L, LA is for the South. And it's a little far away. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what? Good. Um, what do you think is one the one one thing that um, really surprised you about United States? Like uh, the thing that really surprised it, uh, yeah. the metric system. Like they 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 don't use mirrors or seconds. No, seconds use it, but don't you uh, using kilograms? Uh, this was a little the uh, pretty confusing thing uh, mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, yeah. have have not have many another things that surprises me. Uh, but the, actually, the the I, I I found the people over there pretty cool. Uh, in California State, it's like. Have people from many countries, and 
people that actually have relatives for another countries, for example, Mexico or India or China. Actually, in San Francisco, have the China Tao. That's pretty yeah. cool, actually. No, there are a lot of you know immigrants in the U.S. It's a country of immigrants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fascinating for me. Yeah. And uh, and what language did you speak in your internship? Uh, English. <laughs> you spoke English. Okay. Yeah, but actually, I, I, I had some, some another Brazilian friends there, uh, that actually, uh, in in movement, uh, some, uh, in some days actually, I, I was speaking more Portuguese than than English because I, mm -hmm. I, I was speaking more with my Brazilian friends than the, the. There are other people over there. Okay. Um, do you want to pursue a PhD degree? Uh, PhD degree. Uh, um, do you mean that if I want to do PhD degree? Yes. Do you want to? Uh, I I think um I have talked about this and. Uh, but maybe someday. But uh, like I'm finishing my master's degree, but I I don't intend to to do the the PhD like in the a uh, short term. Maybe in mm -hmm. the long long term. Mm -hmm. uh, I I I do prefer to start to work before, like work for a while for some some years actually, like. Four years, five years in some companies, and after maybe, maybe do a PhD. Mm -hmm. It's a big commitment. Oh yeah. Yeah. And do you want to have kids? Um. By now, no. I think that we are good. Uh, just or uh, just two by now. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh. uh from some some years from from now. How long have you been married? Uh, six months. All right, class. Let's uh, let's guess. Let's see. What do you think? Which one is it? Mm. I'm not sure. Maybe the last one. The last one? No. Yeah, I think it might be the last one. Other yeah, I think the same. Yeah, yes? I think he's not married. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. One thing and Ming, what do you think? Which one is it? The third one. The third one? Uh, I will go with he doesn't have a master's degree. Okay. Just to be different. All right, Thiago, which one was it? Is the third one I am not married. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. All right. So um, let's see. We have five minutes left. So uh, let me share mine with you. Okay. And you can ask me some questions. All right. So uh, number one, I was born in Washington, D.C. Number two, uh, I don't like chocolate. And number three, I have a cat named Tiger. Okay, who's the football team in Washington, D.C.? The football team. Ah, too easy. Where's the your basketball team? The basketball team? Yeah. The Wizards. Okay. Where's your cat? Uh, my cat? Well, okay, so it's complicated. So I, uh, I live in Spain, but my but I'm home in visiting family in Washington right now, and my cat is over there in Europe, so I can't show you him. <laughs> Why are you calling? Do you, do you have any picture of your cat? Uh, yeah, I do. He looks like a tiger. <laughs> 
I have some pictures, but not on, I don't, I mean, I have them on my phone, but I don't have them with me. So why, what, why, why don't you like chocolates? I just don't like the taste. I don't know. Is there anything specific about it that you don't like? Uh, it's either, so I think for me, dark chocolate is too bitter, and, um, and milk chocolate is too sweet, and I just, the texture is almost, like, grainy. Mm. I don't know, there's some, I just have never liked it. Well, well minty chocolate. Minty chocolate? Yeah. No, that's even worse. <laughs> okay. How old is your cat? He will be one year old. Uh, on August 17th. It's almost his birthday. What's the gender of your cat? Male. Um, what kind of cat is it? I'm curious if it looks like a tiger, what kind of cat is it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the breed is. Uh, uh, it's like a... In, <laughs> so I got him in Andorra. Boston. So in, no, no, no. I got him in Andorra, and in Catalan, the name of his breed is Atigrat. So it's like a tiger or cat, literally. I don't know what how that is in English, though. A tigra, okay. Don't you like sweet things at all? <coughs> I like uh, I like sweet things that are like fruit flavored. So like gummy candies or like. I really like cherry flavored things, things like that. When was when you realized that you don't like chocolate? When I was young, I just I never wanted to eat it when I was little. What happened? Someone gave you a chocolate and you tasted and think that's so wrong. What? <laughs> I don't know if it was that extreme, but I remember at like birthday parties when I was very young. I never wanted chocolate cake or chocolate ice cream. I only wanted vanilla. What if someone you like give you a box of chocolate? Would you eat it? I would say thank you, but I mean, if there are people that really know me well, they won't get me chocolate. You know what I mean? What's the name of baseball team in Washington, D.C.? The Nationals. Okay. <laughs> What's the name of the soccer team in Washington, D.C.? D.C. United, I think. Huh? I think it's D.C. United. Oh, I see. Is that right? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do you live, I mean, do you, are you grow, uh, have you grown up in Washington, D.C.? Let's Growing see, I, I grew up in Washington. And then when I was 18, I moved to New York to go to college. And then afterwards, I or to university. And then afterwards, I moved to Spain uh, and Andorra to work. And now I'm in a master's program. What's your favorite memory? Uh, what hospital were you born in Washington? It's got to be a hospital. Washington Hospital for Women. It doesn't exist anymore. It's okay. now an office building. Okay. All right, so we're running out of time. Why don't you tell me which one do you think is the lie? The second one. The second one? Yeah. First one. The first one? Uh, I think it's the, the last one, the, the okay. cat. The cat, okay. You don't have a cat. Okay. Uh, I think that. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Oh, I think that the lies about the sweet food, sweet, sweet the candies. Chocolate? Uh -huh. Yeah, chocolate. Okay, yeah, it was the chocolate one. You guys were right. I do. I love chocolate, and um, <laughs> I, I do have a cat. I genuinely don't know what the breed is, except that he looks like a tiger. So I named him Tiger, and I was born in Washington. Okay. okay. All right. So, uh, good work. You you figured out which one I was lying about, most of you. Okay. And so I didn't intend for that one activity to take up the whole class, but uh, you have been a great group. You asked a lot of very good questions. Um, you participated, and you made this a lot of fun for me. 
So um, thank you all very much for your hard work. And I hope to see you again very soon in class. Thank all you. Right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye.